Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A6300 and Olympus EM10 II. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A6300 and the Olympus EM10 II are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 3rd of February 2016 and the 25th of August 2015. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6300. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Olympus EM10 II. For portrait photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A6300 and the Olympus EM10 II. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A6300. And here are some sample photos from the Olympus EM10 II. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6300. I have been using Sony cameras for a while now, and the A6300 has been a great upgrade for me. The autofocus is fast and accurate, which was a big improvement from my previous camera. I don't shoot in 4K, so I didn't see the need to upgrade to the A6500. The camera has been reliable for me, although I did have a minor issue with the memory card. I mainly use it for taking photos of my kids, sports photography and portraits, and it has performed really well in all those areas. Overall, I would highly recommend this camera, especially for the price. The Sony A6300 has been a game changer for me in my photography journey. The autofocus is incredible, the viewfinder is top-notch, and the silent shutter mode is a great addition. The build is solid and the sensor and customization options are impressive. After using it for six months, I can confidently say that it's a definite keeper for me and well worth the investment. Here's what people have to say about the Olympus EM10 II. I bought the ILM camera for use with low f-stop manual lenses and it's been great for low light and specialized uses. The kit lenses work fine, and I've set up programmable buttons for peaking and magnification to help with manual focusing. The camera is small and easy to handle, but can be a bit difficult to use in cold temperatures. Overall, I'm really liking this camera. This camera has amazing image quality and is easy to use. It's compact and lightweight but still feels sturdy. The traditional look and feel is a nice touch. However, focusing in low light is challenging, and the LCD screen can be annoying. The proprietary file format for the digital negatives is a hassle, and the image stabilization can affect the horizon line. Despite these drawbacks, I don't regret buying this camera as it has served its purpose well so far. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A6300. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Olympus EM10 II. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 